In the wild, every cycle of night and day could witness a change of fate. In the jungles of southern China, animals fight for survival. Courage and wisdom. Growth and exploration. This is an exploration of stories between day and night. Southern China is home to dense tropical and subtropical forests. In this world, animals still live undisturbed by humans. As a rare solar eclipse begins, a spider becomes restless. This is an annular eclipse, meaning only the edge of the sun will be visible around the moon. At this time, the spider is eating the web it has weaved. A long-noded pit viper, a nocturnal creature, also emerges from its hiding place. Scientists are still investigating the effects that eclipses have on animal behavior. As the eclipse ends, the spider's actions return to normal. The long-noded pit viper also ends its short day trip, returning to the stone crevasse it was hiding in to await the arrival of night. There is something strange in this bamboo forest. A large tree frog feels the approach of spring.
The dense bamboo forest keeps out the sun. Animals underneath its canopy have adapted to life in low and flickering light. A king cobra. An apex predator in the bamboo forest. It is the largest of all venomous snakes and the most intelligent of its kind with a strong awareness of territory. It can move very fast. In the southern part of China, it's known figuratively as a gust of wind across the mountain. Smaller than the cobra and non-venomous, a beauty rat snake is following the scent of a Chinese brown frog into the forest. Now it becomes agitated. The King Cobra has spotted the invader. The beauty rat snake senses danger, but it's too late. There is no reason for the king cobra, which feeds primarily on other snakes, to give up the free meal. The bigger predator can take its time. This is a one-sided contest. the beauty rat snake abandons its defensive posture and attempts to flee. The cobra delivers a fatal bite to the head of its prey. Now the beauty rat snake is fighting for its life, wrapping its body tightly around the head of its powerful foe. The cobra is injecting its venom. King cobras, in fact, have abundant venom. 
even a single bite could kill an adult Asian elephant in three hours. Now the cobra can enjoy a leisurely lunch. The sun goes down and night falls. Even on a moonless night, there is light in the jungle. Fireflies contain two active chemicals in their bodies, luciferase and luciferin. Luciferase is an enzyme or biologically active protein, while luciferin is an organic compound whose oxidation in the presence of luciferase results in the emission of light. By combining the two, fireflies fluoresce in different colors to attract a mating partner. It's not just animals that glow. This is luminescent bacteria. There is no scientific consensus as to why these mushrooms fluoresce at night. Even some branches covered with hi-fi gleam. During the dry season in the jungle, the days are hot and the nights are cooler. This elephant is looking for water to cool off in. Southern China's jungles only have two seasons, a rainy season and a dry season. When the dry season ends, the rainy season will begin. A 
abundant rain refills a river that had dwindled and dried in the dry season. These are Fair's leaf monkeys. They live high up in the forest and rarely descend to the ground. Waterfalls formed by flowing water during the rainy season are their favorite way of obtaining moisture. A river crab living in the valley is also on the move. Its destination is a small pool formed from gathering rainwater. Although it won't outlast the rainy season, it's already home to a multitude of aquatic animals. These are metamorphosing tadpoles and a back-swimming bug. The arrival of the crab creates a disturbance. Soon it is feeding. Attracted by the water, another crab arrives. battle for territory begins.
The invader has failed. It will continue on and search for its own pool, leaving the resident crab to enjoy its new home alone. At the foot of the hill, the air cools with the approach of night. A big-headed turtle begins to move. It emerges from the water and climbs up the river bank. With a keen sense of smell, it can detect the scent of prey from far away. Heading upwards against the water is a challenge. In addition to using its strong limbs and claws, it climbs with the support of its tail. Two hours later, the turtle finally reaches its destination. It enters the pond where the river crab lives. The crab moves fast and is forced into a corner of the pool. The crab's hard armor-like shell leaves the turtle with nowhere to bite. Taking a break, 
the turtle moves to the surface to breathe. After dark, the struggle resumes. The crab is exhausted, but its sturdy armor is still holding up. After a long fight, the crab burns itself out. The turtle takes a bite into where it's most vulnerable, its face. Then it begins to dismember its prey. Southern China enjoys the most abundant rainfall in the country, with 70% falling during the wet season. During a rare spell of sunny weather in the rainy season, withered bamboo leaves are falling in the breeze. The king cobra is taking advantage of this precious period to nest. It twists the dead leaves into a bundle which it lays its eggs on. The king cobra is the only snake that builds a nest for its eggs. Hatching takes about 50 days, during which the mother snake will not abandon her clutch. When her babies are about to emerge, however, she leaves. Given her strong hunting instincts, she will eat her young if she sees them.
Now a kukri snake senses advantage. It creeps up to the cobra's nest. Even the fearsome King Cobra can lose out to a thief. Plants in the jungle are engaged in an upward struggle, with the ones growing tallest benefiting from the most sunlight. Those falling behind will have to make do with less solar resources by growing in the shade. No matter how tall their parents, the seeds of all plants must compete together when they fall to the dark forest floor. Some seeds have evolved the ability to fall far from their tree with fins or other appendages attached to them that catch the wind. Among leaves landing on the forest floor are flower petals. This particular petal looks strange. It is in fact an orchid mantis. Even the insect's gait mimics the swaying of flower petals in the wind. When not feeding, it spends much of the time grooming the feelers on its head. With its delicate white colouring, it's a beautiful insect. 
At the same time, however, it's also an expert killer. Few insects can pass it by and remain alive. It will even grapple with those larger than itself. After several failed attacks, it gives up. Instead of feeding, it will have to make do with cleaning itself. The jungle has no shortage of camouflage experts. This butterfly disguises itself as a dead leaf. It stays still when the orchid mantis sets eyes on it and walks when the predator is combing its feelers. Such trickery allows it to slip right under the orchid mantis's nose. This is a Bengal slow loris. It lives in the tree canopy. During the day, it sleeps high up in the branches. In the evening, it becomes active. Its every movement is done carefully.
It finds a lizard which, as an ectotherm, has become incapacitated by the cold of night. The lizard can't move quickly enough to escape. And the loris gets an easy meal. Down below, an ocelot is skulking across the forest floor. It has just come of age. Unlike the Bengal slow loris, it can't find prey easily in the jungle. seems to have picked the wrong time. Tonight, the jungle is lit up by the full moon. It's not ideal to hunt on a night like this. So far, nothing has been gained. A servant mouse is foraging and has been spotted by the cat. The mouse senses danger. Under the light of the moon, he spots the ocelot at a distance and escapes easily. The closest the little ocelot can get 
is the scent the mouse leaves behind. It has a long way to go to survive in this jungle. <laughs>